Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. The World. I'm Septum Sen, and today I am going to change it up a bit. Well, maybe not. We have been doing a lot of anime lately, and we're going to do more anime. So, I'm going to talk about a series that is actually very important to the anime world, and that series is Astro Boy. Now, to my knowledge, there is the original manga, which is credited as being one of the most defining manga towards what is common Japanese manga today. And then, on top of that, the anime, the 60s anime, is actually considered one of the most defining anime, well, Ever. It's considered almost uh, by many the first anime. It's not really, but it's one of the first popular anime that actually hit. So, what type of, uh, what, what actual familiarity do I have with the series is actually more on lines of reputation. When you're getting into anime, you learn about Astro Boy. It's just, uh, it's one of those things. You learn about it like you learn about Sailor Moon, like you learn about DBZ. These are defining series that actually make anime what it is. And Astro Boy is one of the most defining series. So Astro Boy came in, as far as the animation, there are four distinct eras. There's the first era, which is 120-some episodes of the 60s show, many of which are unfortunately lost to us forever. The second era, which was a color era done in the 80s, sort of rehashing the show, bringing it up to date with the times, and moving it forward. Then came the early 2000s, where we, where we got both an updated cartoon series and a CG movie. Now, up until recently, the only experience I have had with Astro Boy, other than reputation, was the CG movie, which is a sad thing. And I have actually seen other animated work by this individual. Uh, though Metropolis was not actually the work of this individual, it was based on the work of the creator you can see the style. I could almost see it actually as a different time in a different country in the same world if you've watched that movie. So today we're going to actually be going over the second series in the Astro Boy chronology, the second series, the 80s series. This was done in 1983. It consists of 50 episodes. It is also out of print, which is why we're covering it today. I actually own all four incarnations of the Astro Boy animation. And of course, as I said, I've watched the movie, and I also have the other two series, uh, what they could restore of the original series, which is still a significant amount, and uh, the new series. But those two are brand new, and I always prioritize my used. So this is probably all you'll see of Astro Boy for a little while. Now. Let's talk about what Astro Boy is about. We've got a doctor who is doing a lot of things and he's neglecting his son. He's the minister of science. He's developing these new robots in this world where robots have actually gotten to the point where they're gaining citizenship status. And then he loses his son due to his recklessness. So in his grief, he actually creates a robot substitute for his son, and Astro Boy is born. This is pretty much the same draft you see in any of these series. So, other than that, what is the series about? Well, it's about Astro Boy going on various adventures, using his superpowers, because he's actually superpowered even for robot standards, he uses them to right wrongs and administer justice. So what is good about this series? Well, I actually like the feel of it. 
it actually does feel like it's much older than it is. It doesn't feel like it's an 80s anime. It has more of the feel of the original. Even the theme song has a similar feel to what you would what you would hear back in the 60s to 70s. So this is a and the show has that feel in the way interactions are done, but the animation quality is actually much higher. Though the art style is the same, it is amazing actually that the quality is as good as it is. There are points, but for the most part, it's very smooth. You actually get to feel the action as it's happening, and it even get you even get into it as it goes on. Many of the characters have surprising depth. Astro is kind of almost a 2D character in some points. He does have a little bit of depth, but it keeps... He's not as uh, he's not as deep as we would wish that he was. I mean, I still don't know quite why they gave him a butt cannon, but you know, they weren't making fun of anything. They were making fun of that in the animated movie, and I understand why. So, other characters though really did impress me. Some of the depth of a uh, field that you see in some of the some of the characters, such as the doctor, or even the little sister, which would normally these little sister or kid characters become extremely annoying. And though she was annoying at times, for the most part, her personality stood out as less like a "I'm going to cheer you on," and more like an individual. She had her own character. She had her own heroic moments, and she stood out. So, with this comes actually a fairly complex message of equality, of a particular class of individuals who are trying to make it in the world. Many of them, at least in the country that Astro Boy is, is in, they have actually gained equal rights, but they are still not equal citizens. It actually does speak out to the time that this stuff was actually being made originally and you can see that quite well because of that I actually consider the writing to be well above par and if this is anything if the original series is anything like this then that tells me that they were way ahead of their time I mean there are a couple of things that I find is funny which uh, of course this is supposed to take place, uh, this one here takes place in 2020. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be that advanced in three years, so uh, miss the bar. <laughs> Optimistic thinking. And considering that the, uh, that the same thing was saying that it was going to be around the 90s or, or early 2000s is when the original series is taking place. Uh, yeah, very optimistic thinking about the future. This is why you don't plan ahead. Not when you've got the foreseeable future. You end up with that back to the future 2 scenario where all of a sudden, where are my hoverboards at? <laughs> The last thing I'm going to say on the positive end is I wanted to highlight one of the characters. I really, really liked the storylines that they had with Atlas. He was probably by far the most complex character. He was a villain. He was a villain created to be Astro Boy's rival in many, many ways. And the way his character developed from the first episode on, it really did... It really did not just show the dichotomy of good versus evil, because it really wasn't good versus evil. It was just two types of philosophies, almost like if you're going X-Men like Charles Xavier versus Magneto. Magneto is the bad guy. He's clearly the bad guy. But he has motivations that are not entirely evil. So let's get to the bad. And Atlas is one of those. There were cuts, lots of cuts in the American version. Matter of fact, it was very confusing because they left out a lot of Atlas's initial scenes. I don't know why. There certainly was enough death in this one, and it was obvious that people were dying. So I don't really see what the point is of cutting some of these things. The other 
things are small. I mean, some of the stories were kind of just little quirky stories. This goes along with a lot of kids' anime. And, you know, it gets boring after a while when you're watching them for 50 episodes and you're trying to just plow through like I am. So, yeah, there is a little bit of a downside to that. Also, I have seen stupid people, but the people in this anime, the, the common people, Astro's classmates, the common people in the city, they are the dumbest people I have ever seen, and it aggravates me. This guy is clearly a hero. He has saved countless numbers of, countless numbers of human beings. He has defeated monsters, but yet a small rumor turns the entire city against him again and again. The law enforcement chief. Anything that happens, Astro automatically is the number one suspect. There's something missing. Astro, it's that robot. I will take care of him. Oh, I was proven wrong. Well, I'll get you next time when some other crime happens. Uh, there'll be a purse, purse snatching, and I'll get you for that. It's... It's this, you know, and he claims to be, you know, this up-and-coming law enforcement when he's just stupid. And maybe some of this is supposed to come across as bigotry, and bigotry, as we have seen in, say, I don't know, the events that happened in Charlottesville, bigotry comes across as stupidity in a lot of cases. But bigotry is not always stupidity. And here it seems like bigotry, bigotry does not always come across that way, so... What are these people's excuses? <sighs> but that is really the biggest, that's the biggest flaw in this. I mean, any other flaws really would be chalked up to time. They had restored it pretty well. It's actually pretty good. And uh, I will admit, it is a well, is a well put together series. I mean, you're using the basic slim case which is great because you don't use up a lot of room and I don't like using a lot of room. And as my first real experience with Astro Boy, and, and by the way, I don't really consider m my experience with the CG movie as my first experience. He's just, it's similar, but it's not. So this is really, this I feel like is my first true legit experience with this. And I would recommend it. I, mean, I would strongly recommend this. I will actually give this an 8 out of 10. If you can find it. I am lucky I've been watching it for a while, and there are a couple of series I do this with. Skeleton Key was unfortunately one of those, but I watch them, and if I see them come on sale, or if I see a copy come up that's not ultra expensive, I grab it. And I would recommend, if any of you see this, for under 60 bucks, grab this. It will be worthwhile. So, that's all I've got to say about Astro Boy. And then for our next trick, we will be going into some horror. So, I'll see you next time. Until then, please like, subscribe, and share. And of course, if you have any questions, or any comments, I welcome them. I will be watching. Alright, take care.